And so I gotta leave soon, so I'm just gonna go once. Oh, there will be blood. John with the classic. I'm going to leave soon. Run it once. John with a four bet. Queens this time. This time his opponent's got the King-10 of hearts coming along. King-10, not a great hand to be calling four bets with in general. Often going to be very dominated, but uh, we do know Jung likes to mix it up, so not surprised to see him flip it in here. Very safe flop for the two red queens. Let's see what sizing John goes with. Little under third pot, I, I would assume the King-10 of hearts is actually going to peel here. Just due to its backdoor equity and it's one over. Might feel obligated to see a turn for this price. Although with Jung, you never know. We've seen him mix it up quite a bit tonight. Sure enough, he does flip in the call. Ooh, there's that backdoor equity we're talking about. Hearts come in. Double flush draw board. The deuce fairly irrelevant in both players' ranges. Nobody's ever really going to have a two here. So we can pretty comfortably continue with our queens for value. Just a question of what sizing we want to use. It is nice to have the queen of hearts in our hand in this spot. Reduces the backdoor flush combinations of our opponent. Still a milky little bet here from John. Doesn't feel like his hand needs much protection. Really up against just about as much equity as, as his opponent's ever going to have here with the over card and the flush draw. Normally, Jung's continuing range is, is going to have substantially less equity than this does make the call. And front door flush mm -hmm. comes in, giving Jung a pair. Not the best card for the queens, certainly not the worst. You're not overly worried about the flush at this point. Well, now you're worried about it. Holy shit, Jung has just ripped it again. This is this is interesting. I, I like this a little bit less than last time he made this kind of move, simply because I think he is going to be doing some check raising with his flush draws at some frequency on the flop. Mm. So we can take out a couple combos here. And the SPR is a little bit worse here. Th th this bet is for well under pot, which means John is just not going to be folding over pairs at a high frequency. Wow, and he does let it go. Jung just pulling every single move correctly tonight. Shows him the bluff, too. River second pair turns it into a bluff jam and gets it done. I had him beat. I had him. I had the best. Check the Yeah, Dan, no problem. Monku is correct. Everyone was a beginner at some point. We appreciate people tuning in of all skill levels. Uh oh. Jung now with the ace king facing an open and two flats. Did he just jam? Wait, what is happening? No, Jung 3-bet, John jammed over the top for his last 30,000. Uh, this is going to get called, and they are going to run it. Classic ace-king versus queens here. It's going to decide the I fate. Soon, so I got to leave soon, so I'm just going to go once. Oh! <laughs> John with the classic. I'm going to leave soon. Run it once. Chat will love that. There will be blood. King right on the flop. Looks like John has got one foot out the door. Wow, John Cohen. Dusted. Felted. Out of here. Very good player. One of the best cash game players around, certainly. Normally a crusher. Not today. Tough, tough lineup, certainly. 50K in, 50K gone. Oh, yeah. 